Man, I'm hot. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Okay, enough procrastinating. Hey guys, I'm Kay Falcon, and welcome back to my channel. I give you my heart. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know the drill, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I'm not making any excuses. That was just me procrastinating. Regardless of that, though, I am so happy and blessed to be back again with you guys to share another fun experience with you guys. So in this video, it's actually a add-on to the previous video I did, which is the Melina video. I took from what I kind of didn't like what the movie did with Melina and I tried to make my own rendition to kind of like satisfy the grievance in my heart. Um, this video is actually... <laughs> to be honest with you, I have two reasons for doing this. Number one, I like the character. Number two, I'm a Scorpio. This is a dead giveaway who I'm going to be doing. As a Scorpio, you know you got to do Scorpion. You cannot, cannot try to cosplay somebody in Mortal Kombat and you don't do Scorpion. If you don't do that and you're a Scorpio, shame on you. That's all I'm saying. That being said, I really hope that I do the character justice. But here's the catch. This is actually going to be a two-part video. I realize that this may take a little bit too long if I should tack it into just one video. This actually gives me an opportunity to introduce a product that I've actually been wanting to try for the longest time and just never got around to doing it. Like, it's old news, but you know, your girl always has to try it for herself to see if it really works or not. So in the first part, I'll be focusing on the eyes. So you have the creative portion of it, which will be done in part two if you're interested. I'm kind of like really hyped about this because I never got to do it for Scorpio season. So I'm going to be creating a female scorpion because that's what I am. I'm going to stop chit-chatting and get into the video. But before that, I just want to, like always, remind you guys to don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, guys, and hit that bell button right beside the subscribe button to get notified each time I make a post. Also, please don't forget to actually give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and also leave a comment down below your support really means a lot to me in addition guys don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms i have instagram also have twitter and of course i have facebook but instagram and twitter are the ones that i am most active with apart from youtube obviously so don't forget to follow me on all of my platforms i will link them down below so if you do need my handle they will be in the description bar so without further ado guys let's get into part one of this video earlier i did mention that there is a product that i've always wanted to try but didn't get an opportunity to and here they are don't mind the fingernails please don't don't judge, don't judge. But these are the P. Louise bases. And I'll be these are the P. Louise bases. I got them in the shade base five and I got it in base zero. So base zero is actually a pure white color while base five is more of a, I'd say a tannish color. We will see what it looks like apply it on my skin um, further down when I start doing this so I've already prepped my face by applying my my primer of course I am using the Tatcha Silk canvas and I applied a bit of foundation I'm going into my summer shade so I'm actually using what I find to be my perfect summer shade before they change the formula and it was from Sephora the one that I used before and I loved was the 10 hour foundation but it looks like they reformulated recently and now they have it as the best skin ever this is the foundation that I use if you are curious about that this is in the shade 
53.N, which is a neutral shade. I find that neutral shades work best on me. I'm not sure if I like this, I'm not exactly sure I like this new formula. It's too early to tell. So, um, I'm starting by doing my eyebrows. If you want a in-depth eyebrow tutorial about how I do my eyebrows, please let me know in the comments down below and I will try my best to accommodate you. <laughs> Base. Usually I use a mixture of my um, foundation and my LA Bro Girl Pro Conceal in order to conceal my under eye. But I'm actually going to try this tan color and see how that works. So I am squeezing it out on a little spatula right here. I got this off of Amazon if you're interested. So I'll put a little bit here. It's a little bit bright, but I can still work with that. Damn, my eyebrows are really good and sharp today. I love the browns that are in my Jackie Aina palette. If you're wondering where the brush went, I long took that out and I put it in my collection. Um, I'm going to be using the shade Ginger and I am just blending it along my crease line. And honestly, the blend with that P. Louise base Such a different the actual eye base makes, eh? I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like voice over the video to make this go a lot more quickly because it's like 10 o'clock in the night. This done. So I started with the shade Ginger from the Jackie Ina palette to kind of help to ease that transition between my eyebrow and my lid and then I then deepened the color with credit from the same palette within my crease area. I further deepened that color with the shade Smoke Palette from the Fierce by Nature palette from Morphe and I focused it more towards the set, the middle of my eye as well as the outer portion of my eye. I didn't really bring it all over my lid because I wanted the deepest color to be on the outside. I then used this ginger shade again to kind of help to uh, transition that shade out, kind of blow it out. Um, so it's not as um, stark and the transition is a lot more blended in between that crease area and where I applied the black. I used the tip of a flat brush to kind of help focus where I wanted the black to be more pronounced and I just went back and forth with blowing it out and blending it out until I got the blend that I needed. Finally, the star of the show has entered. I then went in with the P. Louise base. This is the color zero, which is the pure white shade, and I kind of used it to cut out the crease area, quote unquote, um, where I wanted the color that I would be added on top to be more, more pronounced. I then went back in with my black eyeshadow to kind of smoke out the edges to make sure that that transition is not very sharp. Finally, some color. I went in with the Color Burst palette, the shade Sunshine, and I used a flat brush to kind of pat that color in on top of that base until I got the consistency or the um, 
opacity that I was looking for. I started from the inside out and kind of focused less color on the outside so that it allowed the, uh, the color to blend in a lot better with the black that I had put in previously. So before moving on to my lower lash line, I just added a bit of concealer to kind of even out that base. And then I moved in with a uh, coal eyeliner and I applied to my lower lash line and then smoked it out. I then applied some eyeliner and made a cat eye on my eye because, you know, I love my signature cat eyes. I feel like I can't do any other ones. Mm, is that just me? I can do the cat eye, but it's just hard for me to do a regular liner. Hmm, that's so weird, eh? I then went ahead and set my face before I started adding on my mascara and my lashes. You want to do that before you do um, the mascara because you do not want bleeding or running off your mascara. And of course my favorite part, can you hear the sarcasm in my voice? My favorite part, lashes. Mmm, so good. look guys as it contends with the eyes as you can see I didn't do the rest of my face because I have plans for the rest of my face in part two of this video but before we go guys into that I just want to close off with my closing remarks about these bases honestly these were something I never knew I needed in my life until I got them these are absolutely amazing I've tried more affordable um, eyeshadow bases before and they just didn't spread properly it was like all patchy patchy it dried too quickly these P. Louise bases are like heavenly like they are not quick drying well they dry like at a reasonable rate they blend pretty easily on top of that they also layer pretty easily and the shadow when it goes on top of it it goes on like a butter i am in love and these are absolutely worth the price as soon as i'm able i will be getting more of these in probably different shades too i think they have a pure black i kind of want to experiment with that i've never tried a black face i wonder what that's like i am definitely putting this in my shopping list or my wish list for future purchases these are definitely definitely a fave of mine in terms of eyeshadow bases i've never been a believer until now you can see for yourself the color payoff of these eyeshadows and the reason i chose this yellow not just because of the scorpion look this particular yellow in this uh i think this is a color burst palette by morphe it has always been a little bit tricky to blend on the eyes a lot of times when i apply it it applies very patchy as you can see i'm going a little bit close up so you can see a little bit better please don't mind the wonky eyelash guys like you already know eyelashes aren't my thing okay i'll show you this eye because this eye is just a mess but you can see no patchiness it is pretty pretty seamless it is a pretty good blend Look at that, look at that. Absolutely amazing, guys. Now, I'm gonna head on in and film part two of this video, but before I go, I just wanna remind you guys once again to don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you think I forgot, didn't you? Anyway, subscribe to my channel, guys. Hit that bell button right beside the subscribe button to get notified each time I make a post. Also, guys, 
share this video please share far and wide this video encourage your friends to also subscribe to the k falcon family if i would really appreciate it guys and it will also allow me to create more content for your entertainment also don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms as i said before i have instagram twitter and of course facebook so don't forget to follow me there as well as hair and of course Give this video a big thumbs up guys it shows your support tells me you like this video and encourages me to make more like it so definitely definitely gives this video a big thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment down below so see you guys in part two of this video adios amigos see you later